YouTube has just announced their brand new Creators app, which is a video editing app that currently only works on Android phones. And this is sort of YouTube's answer to the CapCut app, which is the editor from TikTok. But is it any good? In this video, we'll take a closer look at it and I'll give you an in-depth overview. So let's check it out. All right, so welcome back to the channel. In case you're new here, super glad to have you. My name is Julian. I'm the creator of Smartphone Filmmaking Pro. And on this channel, we talk about making better videos using our smartphone. We also talk about the editing process. And soon we will also talk about the monetization part of filming with your smartphone. So in case that's interesting for you, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So today I will give you an in-depth overview over the brand new YouTube Create app that has just been announced. Currently, as of recording, of this video this is only a beta app and it's only available in eight different countries so for example here in austria it was not available i had to use a vpn to get it downloaded nevertheless i still think this is very very exciting and i can't wait to see what the future will bring but now i would say let's get started with the overview so if you open up the create app this is what you can see you can see i have already created one project but i will now create a very new a brand new project with you together you can do this just by tapping at the bottom right on this plus icon just tap on this and then you can see all of your clips that you have shot recently and basically you can just select the ones that you want to import i'll just select a few like it doesn't really matter i just want to show you how it works if you found all the clips that you want then just click on import and then the youtube create app will do the thing in the background i'm not quite sure like why it's converting in the background like if for example if you're using cap cuts then it's not doing this so yeah i'm not quite sure if this is a thing of the beta version or if this will also be a thing in the future but as of right now it's converting the clips because it tells me that i'm importing large files and yeah it just has to do this so it only takes a couple of seconds but that's definitely a bit of a downside to be honest all right, so after a couple of seconds, now we are inside of the editor. And if you have been using CapCut, for example, then this overview will be very familiar to you. So you can see you have the timeline here. You can scroll through the timeline and you can also zoom in. You make, can make it smaller or bigger, depending on what you like. And by default, it's, or at least for me, it has always been creating 16 by nine videos and no vertical videos, but you can change that very easily. And I'll show you how that works in just a minute. So something that I really like about the Create app is its simplicity it's super simple to navigate and it's super easy to get used to it for example if you wanted to add an overlay or if you wanted to add like a second layer like for example a second video or a photo or something all you got to do just tap on overlay and then you can like pick a photo for example let's pick this one and then it's already imported and you can see you now have the layers just as you have it with Premiere Pro or Final Cut, for example. If you wanted to change the scale, you can just um, you know, scale it upwards. You can also change the rotation. So it's super easy to navigate. And it's also telling you like the rotation, is it off or is it perfectly fine? So yeah, it's doing that very, very fine. And you can see now, like I, I like the way and how YouTube Create is handling the layer system. Because with CapCut, for example, if you add layers, you cannot see it like this. So you cannot see like, okay, my uppest layer is the one that I can see because all of the other layers are below that. So I think it's a bit more complex and this is a bit easier to understand in my opinion. So yeah, you can see like at this point, you can see the iPhone and then at some point you can see the BMW and then we're back to the iPhone. So yeah, super easy to do that. And you can do the same thing also with videos, not only with photos. Next to that, you can add text, just tap on that. Then you can add a plain text or a text effect. Plain text, basically just as it says, is just a plain text. You could do this. Or if you wanted to add a text effect and YouTube is providing you a bunch of different presets, you can just scroll through them and pick the one that's, you know, looking best for you or I don't know the one that's you know making the most sense for your video you also have a bunch of call outs and lower thirds animation so let's pick this one for example and then you can just change the title here you can make it sfp whatever um and then say it done and then you can see you have an automation built in and yeah it's kind of nice you can also change the scale here you can change the positioning so overall it's it's very easy to use and very easy to navigate you could also add an animation there you have dissolve whip pen like yeah, basically a bunch of different options. And if you wanted to use something, let's say the whip pen to the right, and you can see then it's sliding in from the right. And you can also do this diagonally. And there are just a bunch of different options. And like I 
said, super easy to use. If you're happy with the animation, if you're happy with the text, just tap on done and you're done. The YouTube Create app is also providing you with stickers and GIFs. So just tap on stickers and then you can see you have a bunch of different stickers. You can also search for them. So let's say arrow, for example, this is something that I like to use if I want to, you know, draw my attention or draw the attention of the viewers to something then just tap on that for example again just change the position um, change the scale to whatever that you like and now you have arrows that are blinking and besides those stickers you also get emojis and gifs so emojis you know all the different options that you would like to have and with gifs you get access to a database and you can also again just search for something tap on it and then it will be imported automatically and yeah that's basically how it works super easy to use super easy to navigate next to the stickers you also get access to the sound and this is something that is very exciting because you're not only get access to like the tiktok library or something you actually get access to the youtube audio your library and also to the YouTube sound effects and this is very cool because if you are creating content for YouTube then you will never ever have any issues with copyright or with some strikes or something because you can absolutely be certain that everything that you can use here is royalty free so if you want to use this just tap on sound and then you would have everything but I have not connected my channel yet so I can't access this but just connect your channel and you will have everything that you also have in the YouTube audio library on your computer super dope feature if you also wanted to add a voiceover to your videos just tap on voiceover um, yeah you could say like while using the app and then just tap on this icon right here and then you could make a voiceover like tell them whatever that you would like to tell them I would recommend to use a proper microphone for this but yeah so this is basically how it works and if you want to get a better overview over all the layers that you have because you can see you know we have already added the gifs and the arrows and so on so just tap on it here and then you can see all the different layers that you have and it's super easy to navigate and if you wanted to change the positioning or cut it off like super easy to use um, with the audio itself you can also split up the audio change the volume fade it in or you could also clean up the audio because as you can hear in the background we have a lot going on in the office in the studio so yeah you could use the audio cleanup to get a cleaner audio here and then here in the basic overview you get one more cool feature and that is the captions feature and basically you can use the YouTube captions feature that they have it's I think one of the best ones out there and if you have some spoken audio in your video just tap on get started um, you could change the language here currently it's only available in English Spanish and Hindi so for me it would be English and then just tap on generate and then you will get the captions like and I'm not going to do this right now because I don't think I have any spoken audio in this video but this is basically how it would work so if you wanted to add a transition between two clips or at the beginning for example you could just tap on this icon right here and then you would have like again basically all the transitions that we have already had in the past and for example dissolve so you can make it you know appear very slowly and very calm so super easy to use and you can also do the same thing between two clips so again just if you wanted to do a fade to black fade to white like whatever it might be you could do this here super easy super fast if you wanted to cut or to trim your videos you could also do that very easily basically you can see here you have a bit of the scissor icon just tap on that and then you can see it gets cut automatically if you want to delete this clip right here just tap on it scroll to the right and then you can see you have delete and that's basically it so this is basically a quick overview over the basics that you get within the youtube create app but now if you tap on a clip itself then you get a bunch of more clips again you have split again but next to that you have filters and there you basically get a bunch of different color grading filters um, I just noticed that I'm in the wrong layer so I can't see what I'm doing so let's go over here for example now again go to filters and here you can see you have a bunch of different color grading presets if it if for example I think this one looks pretty good it pops so it makes the colors more vibrant and so on if it is too much for you can just bring down the intensity and basically super easy to use next to the filters you also get some effects and currently um, there are a bunch of different options but I think the one that's the coolest is the cutout feature and as you can see even for a very difficult clip like this 
yeah, it's doing an okay job. It's probably a bit of a, a complex um, clip that I that I gave it. But if you were, you know, if you were shooting yourself in like this selfie setup, you would get this AI cutout feature like you get in CapCut, for example. And it's just a very cool feature, opens up tons of possibilities. And basically you could just use this sort of like with a green screen, but without having a green screen. Next to the effects panel, you can also adjust your image. Um, for example, if you wanted to color grade your videos, man, Manually, you get contrast, highlights, shadows, white points. So basically all the same features that you also have within CapCut. Um, yeah, super easy to use, super easy to navigate. Um, for example, if um, the, the white balance was off, for example, you wanted to make it bluer or a bit warmer, you could just do this very simple. Um, if you're not happy with what you've done, just tap on reset. And yeah, I think it's pretty self-explanatory and overall very easy to use, which is just a very nice feature. If you're not happy with the speed of your clip, if it's taking a bit too long or if it's too fast, you know, you just have the option to go to speed and then you could just change um, the speed. You could speed it up or slow it down. Unfortunately, as of right now in the beta version, you do not get the option to create speed ramps or something like this, like, like you get within CapCut, but I think this will come definitely in the future. And then if we keep on scrolling to the right, you have volume, so you could change the overall volume of your clip. You could use the audio cleanup, like I said before, if you have some noises in the background, you could use that. And then you could use um, rotate, replace, rearrange, delete, and duplicate. So I think all of these features are pretty self-explanatory. And yeah, that's basically it. That's what you can do. In my opinion, it's a very basic app. But if you are just starting out and if you want to make videos fast and simple, I think it's definitely a very good option. One last thing that I want to show you is here at the top right, you have three dots. And if you tap on them, you can export your video, but you could also change the aspect ratio so you can see currently we are in a 16 by 9 project but the clip that you can see is a 9 by 16 so it was shot vertically if we want to change that just tap on 9 by 16 save and now we have a full screen video with my 9 by 16 video and if you are happy with the video if you want to export it just tap on export you can also change the quality 1080p currently is the highest so yeah that's it just tap on export and you're basically good to go. So there you have it, a quick overview over the brand new YouTube Create app. So now what is my conclusion? In my opinion, it is a very good app. If you are just starting out, if you want the basics, this is a very good app to get started. Is it already then the CapCut app? In my opinion, absolutely not. CapCut has dozens more features than the YouTube Create app currently has. It has been out in the market for a very long time. It also has a desktop app and it just has so many more more features. So if you truly want to get the best experience, if you want to get the best videos possible, then I would still recommend to use CapCut at least as of recording of this video. And in case you are just starting out and you're not quite sure like how you can get started, well, we do have created a CapCut masterclass where we're showing you step by step the ins and outs of CapCut, which like I said before, has just plenty of more options compared to the YouTube Create. We've already had over a thousand members join in the first five weeks which is just absolutely insane. It's just 47 bucks and I will definitely link it down below. On top of the masterclass itself, you will also get access to our private community where you can share your work, post your work, get feedback from myself or from one of my team members. So this will be super, super valuable for you. Another thing that's also very interesting, Blackmagic recently has released their first ever iPhone app that in my opinion is the Filmic Pro Killer. In case you have not seen that video, then click this one over here. Thank you and bye-bye.